Hachi, where are we? Some kind of illusion. I think we're inside someone's dream. Whoa! We're in the dark, black forest. Come on, Kachi. Someone's in for a rude awakening. Welcome back to Let's Play Sin and Punishment 2, everyone. We're in the forest of illusion. Kind of cool. Different. I told you we we're going to go on a little bit of a sidetrack. It's not going to be that easy to go to Fount, Mu Ma Fount Muji. <laughs> Fount Muji. Haven't you ever been to Fount Muji? No? Never been to Fount Muji, huh? Well, let me go ahead and take you on a journey to Fount Muji. Also known as Mount Fuji, when said correctly. But anyways, yeah, we're um, we're on some kind of a side. Uh, what do you call it? We're going on a bit of a uh, what's the word? We're getting digressed a little bit. But you know what? At least it's a cool digression. Ninja aliens everywhere. Kind of a cool level. And the music continues to be majorly badass. Rather enjoying this game a whole hell of a lot. Hopefully, I'm going to have a bit better of a showing than I did last episode, because, man, the only reason that episode was so goddamn long is because I was playing terribly. Like, it had nothing to do with how hard that was. Like, it was all just me sucking complete and utter ass. Like, it was fair enough to die at each of the bosses at least once, but, man, did I have to die at everything at least once? Not just the bosses, but everything. I swear, killed me at least one time. It was pretty ridiculous. I was not proud of last episode, so I gotta at least make this episode. If this episode is not as long as the last one, it will be a success. That's my opinion there. Now I was doing well for a minute there, and then all of a sudden I got I got fucked up like a bit of a, they went on a bit of a flurry on me there, and it mostly just happened because the little bastard started bum rushing me, and I wasn't ready. I'm about to fucking rocket launch or what do you call it? Charge shot one of these fuckers. One of these pig fuckers. Well, wait, you're such a pig fucker, Philip. Why is that? Well, well, first of all, you fuck pigs. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, what are these scary frog things spitting fire at me? I don't know, but I'm gonna try to avoid them as best I can. Scary ass frog things. <sighs> and I continue to wish I had a second player to play this game just because I want to kill everything on the screen. The first game did a better job at being a one player setup because you can kill everything on the screen if you're good enough. This one, not so much. You need you need an extra gunner to really kill everything. If you could charge shot as much as you wanted to, you could easily kill everything on the screen, but because you can only charge shot on a limited basis, you have to just live with what you can kill and, and uh, live with not killing everything, basically. Goffy purple faces. Purple, these are these are Medusa heads. That's what they are. This is the modern day Medusa head from fucking Castlevania. That's what that shit is. Did you? How did I not see that before? Get off my fucking! What the hell are these Tonberries? What fucking Tonberries floating around trying to hit me? You see your shit? Fucking Tonberries in this game. Get out of here, Tonberry. You're not supposed to be in a game. You stick to Final Fantasy where you belong, Tonberries. Seriously. What are those things? I don't like them. Dracula's children, here they come. Uh, bees. Fucking bees, man. Oh, come on, Nunchuck. Not now. What? Nunchuck, stop it. It was good last episode. It didn't happen to me one time, but this episode, right off the bat, we're only not even five minutes in and it happened. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my god, it's growing heads. That's terrible. What the fuck? He's he's playing basketball with a ball of Medusa heads. That is awesome. Oh my god, the bosses in this game are insane. Insanely amazing, by the way. In the most bestest of ways. Yeah, that's right. I'll fuck the Medusa headball up. Oh my god, he's gonna dump. What the fuck? Seriously? It's saying the Wii mode is getting disconnected, but that doesn't make any sense. Because, I mean, that's what happened to me during Donkey Kong Country. Okay, now. Oh no, now my. Oh no. Wait, is my Wii mode really dying? 
Oh, maybe my Wiimote's actually dying. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. And you know what's really awesome? I'm not even recharging the other one. Ah, uh, hold on. Okay, we're back into this somehow. Oh, ha, oh, ha. Back into the basketball madness. I don't know what I was talking about before. I honestly, it's been like an hour since I uh, was continuing this battle. Yes, I had to basically pause the menu, let my fucking battery charge, and I just went and did some other shit, and I came back. So hopefully, whatever I was doing with this crazy basketball motherfucker, I can still fucking do, even though I've been taking a break for like an hour. Come on, Medusa heads. Fuck off. You don't really want none. Yeah. That's right. You don't really want... It's weird that the damage I'm doing is actually to the ball of Medusa heads and not to the actual skeleton head. You don't see me complaining. Oh my god, he's gonna dunk it on me again. Ow, it bounced. You're not supposed to bounce. Uh, I, I have serious doubts about if I had a ball of heads like that. That it would bounce the way this ball of heads bounces. Piece of shit. Just die already. Stop throwing the Medusa heads at me and just fucking die already. Bullshit! Ah, oh, he's almost dead. Isn't it bad enough that I died a lot last episode and I have to die more in this one? God damn it. Continue! Please tell me we're right where I left off with the fucking Medusa head bullshit. Seriously. I hope so. Here it comes. Medusa head! Alright. Soul, soul Skull Keeper. Just fire away. That's all I can say. Hey, 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 today, today is the day where the players play, so they better be on their way. Better be on your way, on your way, your way. Now it's time to celebrate. Hurry up and don't be late, cause you know I'm gonna shoot your purple face. Your purple face, your purple face, your purple face, purple face, your purple face, your purple face. Your purple face. It's weird how that actually fit with the song pretty well. Not the subject matter of the song, just the beat of the song. <laughs> For those of you who even know what that song is. But whatever, I mean, y'all not all y'all are like players like play it. you know Welcome to Atlanta where the players play. Not all of you are like that, you know what I'm saying? So if you're not on that level, then don't worry about it if you didn't know what song that was. Just enjoy it for what I made it, because I made it into something that it isn't. And that is terrible. Both good and bad. Anyway, we're, we're actually kicking the ass out of this thing this time because I'm actually dodging it correctly, which is always a plus when Funky G plays better than he usually plays. It's always a positive note. Let's finish this bitch. Yes, down below 100. Almost there. Almost there. Just die, you pizza chit. You pizza chit. Oh, three left, three left, two, one, yes, got it! Victorious! Checkpoint! Got my life up, full life, moving on. Back into the dark, black forest. See, I remembered I was calling it that at least. Oh, fuck those. What the hell, man? Why are there Mono's Hands of Fate everywhere? Get off me, Mono's Hands. I don't know why I'm saying uh, basically the same word twice, because mono means hand, but whatever. I mean, it's cool. <sighs> Just remember, uh, un poquito espanol, yo hablo. Yada da, yada. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just like captivated by how good this is visually. So a lot of the times I just kind of get lost in how good it looks, and I have nothing to say. Just, I'm just enjoying myself immensely. And if it doesn't come across that I'm enjoying this game as much as I am, I really am. Like, 
playing this game is making me really, really hope that they make a fucking sequel. Like, I'm probably going to say that in every episode of this fucking Let's Play from here on out just because I really want one. I want to play another version of this game. More levels. More features. More something. Online multiplayer. Wouldn't that be badass? Just something. It would be fun. I look forward to possibly seeing a revival of this game. Or game franchise. Seeing Treasure. Put this back in the hands of Treasure and watch them go to town, basically. Because Treasure knows what they're doing when it comes to shmuppy, on rails, whatever, co op man. They are. They're top notch. Like, no bullshit. Dude, I cannot dodge this stuff to save my goddamn life. I can't. Not even to save my life. If my life truly depended on this, I would be dead. I'd be a dead motherfucker. I would. Also, I got rid of one of these fucks. That's a good sign. These weird motherfucking trolleys. Trouble with the trolley, eh? Yeah, I was having trouble with that trolley. You. Mo don't move, ninja keeper. I told you not to move, and you're just moving around. Don't you dare try to sneak up on me. I see your red, red eyeball light. I'll chop down all the grass with my missile missiles with my whatever beams of awesome don't you dare hide in the grass this is not a fucking Chinese movie where they hide in the grass and fight okay hey 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 get off me I was actually gonna try to physically chop him myself but I was a little late fuck you that's right you heard me Fuck you. Now what? Now what is that? Oh my god. What the f- He- What the f- What? What is happening? Giant frog rock monster on- Oh my god. You can't ride on top of that. That's not what ninjas do. Ninjas are fucking scary mother- What? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'll shoot your goddamn horse elephant in, in the belly. Yeah, that's right. What you gonna do, motherfucker? Thought you were gonna be a baller shot caller, but you know what happened? You got fucked up, bro. In your mouth. In your goddamn mouth. In your goddamn pretty little mouth. Don't you fucking dare t tongue whip me, I swear to God. Tongue whip you so hard. And you think a tongue whipping is something I would want, if you know what I'm saying. But no, I don't want to buy this big fucking monster thing. Not even in the slightest, bro. Not even in the slightest. Fuck off! You're done! You're done, you big ass frag! A ninja fuck? Yeah. Well, I'm actually doing a lot better on this stage than I did in the last stage. Maybe it's just not as hard. Maybe I'm just not sucking as bad. Either way, I'm not doing quite as bad. That's all I care about. As long as I have a better showing than I did in the last episode, I'm okay with what's going on here. Oh man, this game is ridiculous though, <laughs> I gotta say. Just the absolute over the top enemies and style though is what's great about it. Like, you don't see a lot of this shit unless you play Japanese games. And it's like, man, there needs to be more of this. I feel like the only other kind of game I can really think of where the enemies are like over the top outrageous that comes to mind when I think about it and is like actually a shooter game is motherfucking uh, uh, Borderlands. Because Borderlands is over the top, and it's excellent, and it's a first-person shooter. But still, like, you don't see that over-top craziness too often. And one thing I've actually read a little bit recently is, uh, I haven't looked into the game at all myself, but I didn't realize who was making it, that's why I didn't look into it. But the uh, Sunset Overdrive game that's coming out sometime soon, I think, in the next couple months, I'm pretty sure, if not this next month. Um, oh, it's on the next-gen set of consoles. I'm pretty sure it'll be on PS4 or Xbox One or something. Um, Sunset Overdrive, but it's being made by Insomniac, the guys who made Spyro the Dragon and Ratchet, the Cl Ratchet and Clank, like games that are kind of over the top and silly, and it, like they don't take themselves seriously or too seriously, I should say. Not like those games are only jokes, but you know they're lighthearted in the sense that you don't have to take that shit so seriously. It's actually they're fun games, and like Sunset Overdrive, I'm pretty sure is a shooter, right? Like I didn't really look into it myself. So I'm not entirely sure what kind of game it even is. But I thought it was a first-person shooter game. I'll have to double-check on my sources or whatever. But if it's not, well, whatever. A game like that 
because it's being made by those developers, it makes me ex kind of excited to check it out. And I hope it's on PS4, because I, that's the console I plan on getting at some point, is PS4. So, it'll be one of those games I actually feel like trying, probably. Unless it ends up being not a very good game, regardless of what kind of style it has. There's always a chance it's not a very good game. I mean, not like Spyro... Well, now that I think about it, Spyro kind of changed hands of who was developing it after about the... I think the third one was the last one that Insomniac did. So I can't be too upset by what it turned into after the third one. But anyway, why am I talking about that other than the fact that I was just talking about games that take themselves too seriously? This one clearly, while it is a pretty serious story going on here, of just crazy world-ending propositions going on all the time, these fucking monsters are so outrageous. Like, where where else would you see them but other than like a nightmare, nightmare, nightmarish dream? And this sequence that I'm in right now, I think is actually supposed to be a dream sequence. So that works for this sequence specifically. Oh my god, I don't like that. I probably should have chopped it with my sword, but for some reason I panicked. Panicking doesn't suit you well, good sir. It always ends in ruin. Should probably be locking onto this fucker more often. I'm just busy trying not to die. I suppose that's not the worst thing I could do. Try not to die is probably a good thing to be trying. I mean, most people do that every day. Try not to die. Anyway, they gave me a health pack right now because we're probably about to fight this motherfucking jelly fuck for really reals right about now. On the bridge, under the waterfall, checkpoint reach. That means it's time to fight this jelly fuck, whatever the hell it is. Come on, Jellyfuck. What are you? It's a Swamp Keeper. Swamp Keeper. Swamp Keeper. Swamp Keeper. Look like man, but also Creeper. Swamp Keeper. Swamp Keeper. Eating. These are leeches, man. Get the leeches off me. I don't like them. Dude, these leeches are so terrifying, actually. I'm trying to lock onto this fuckface. But, man, it's not working out too well for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing too well, to say the least. These leeches are kind of fucking me over. They're kind of... Oh, what am I doing? That's why I'm fucking up. I'm not chopping them. I'm going to die this first attempt because I'm not... For some reason, it's not... I'm, it's not... My head is not wrapping around how to fight this guy. Or his, or his leeches. Or his robin leeches. Be shooting his oh I should be chopping him. What am I doing? Well at least I got one chop in. Now I'm dead. Oh no. Um, so those leeches don't actually hurt me now that I'm looking at what they did. They they haven't been hurting me the whole time. They've just been slowing me down and making me get hit by him. The damage they were doing was non existent. Yeah. Oh oh I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Somehow I'm still alive. I thought I was dead. Well somehow we're still alive. You don't see me complaining if I'm still alive. I, I feel so alive. Somehow I'm alive. And I can't deny you. I feel so alive. I, I'm somehow alive. And I got one life. And I don't know what... Okay, finally. I'm actually kind of glad I died. Because I was like, how am I still alive with this little amount of health? I was going to be pretty impressed if I could come back and win that. I was kind of expecting to die a lot sooner than that based on how I started that battle. But I was kind of getting into a groove and now I understand how to beat him. So we'll probably beat him on this attempt. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Do it to it. Blow this motherfucker up. That's how we do it. Lock on something. Lock on something. Oh, God damn it. Get off me, leeches. Now that I'm understanding that I should be chopping things this whole time. Like the whole time. Not just sometimes. All the time. All the time. Keep chopping stuff. All the time. Oh, God damn it! I got right in the way of that purple bullshit. Chop that fucker. Chop that fucker. Chop that fucker. Shake that arrow. 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 <laughs> where you at, son? Where you at? I don't know where he at. I don't know. Oh, get that purple bullshit out of my face. Get that purple bullshit out of my face. Whatever that means in a context and out of context. I don't know, but it could mean something disgusting or funny. Hard to say for sure. 
I wish chopping those things actually hurt him. That'd be nice. That's right, son. That's right. Get off me, you super tight. Oh my god. I'm just gonna chop him. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna use my lock on for that. No siree bad. Could you not be on me, Leech? Fuck. Thank you. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Fucking up this hoe. Oh, oh, gotta start chopping, gotta start chopping, gotta start chopping. We should be chopping, we should be chopping. All the chops, all the chops. Chop, chop, chop. Chopping the sticks, sticking the chop, chopping the stars. Come on, you should be dodging. You gotta be dodging, you gotta be dodging, you gotta be dodging, you gotta be dodging. You gotta be dodging. Gotta be dodging. Gotta get out of the way of the purple fuck. Get out of the way of the purple fuck. Seriously, bro. Haven't you learned? The purple fuck bad. Blue fuck good. Whatever that means. I don't know. I'm down to 500. Fuck! And I keep getting hit by the purple shit because I'm not ready to dodge. Always ready to dodge. Oh my god, I dodged into it. Brilliant. Brilliant maneuvering. I feel so good. Oh my god. Okay. Somehow, got out of the way. Let's fuck a bitch up. Fuck a bitch up. Alright, I got 13 healths. 13 healths. He has 300 healths. He's got 176 healths now. Fuck off, leeches. Fuck all your robbing leeches up. Keep chopping, just keep chopping, just keep chopping, just keep chopping. Oh my god, those things are all gonna explode. I am now learning why the leeches are actually devastating. Because they blow up into fire. Deadly fire. Alright, alright, alright. Chop, 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 chop. My favorite show is chop, 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 chop. Oh no. Fuck! I died. I died. I died. Son of a bitch tits. Said I was going to win that time. Ah. Lame. Lame-o. Why do I have to be so lame-o? For shame-o. That was lame-o. Why am I having such trouble dodging that purple piece of shit? That purple people eat piece of shit, you know? It's not that hard. It's not that hard, bro. Get off me, but I'm on you all day. Get off me, but I'm on you all day. Get off me, but I'm on you all day. I right, took nine damage because I don't know. Because. Get ready to dodge. So my problem is I was busy logging on like right when he went into that purple shooting mode, and then I wouldn't get ready to dodge out of the way. I'm busy locking on him and shit, and I'm not dodging. Oh, okay, that one I was not ready for for whatever reason. It's cool. Got some damage in. It's cool. <sighs> as long as it's proportional, we're okay. Proportional to the fuck of the face that I fuck his face. Or whatever. Choppy chop chop, choppity chop chop. These fuckers off my, out of my eyesight. These fuckers out of my eyesight. Yada da. What is with me and yada da today? Did I listen to Keep the Sneak in, in recent days or something? I'm just yada da meaning all over the place. Fucking gangster ass Bay Area bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yada da mean? <laughs> That's right. Fuck off, leech. Master. Master of all that is leeching. Leeching. Did you leech? Did you leech that shit? Did you leech that shit? I leeched all my tolerance, bitch. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Keep on dodging, keep on, keep on dodging, all through the night. I said I'll keep on hurried. Oh my god, I didn't dodge. Did I? Oh, maybe I did. I was Either way, he's almost done. I'm doing a lot better than I did last time, even if I do have a lot of damage. And I just wasted my charge shot because I'm stupid. That's cool. Totally cool. Totes cool. 
Totes best. Totes, totes. Totes are my favorite totes. Totes are my favorite kind of totes. Did you know this? Also, flames. What are they good for? Burning. Absolutely burning. Say it again. Now you are what? Fire. Flames. What are they good for? Nothing but burning. I'm not even doing any damage to him. He's gonna kill me again because I'm not doing anything. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. How did I not die? I don't know. Are we gonna kill him this time? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I almost died again. But Jesus somehow decided to save my soul and not let me die to the motherfucking Squid Master Flex over here again. Checkpoint! Yeah! Alright. Moving on through the forest of illusion. Some moors and. Floating on through through the other side. Don't put that shit in my face, you guys. I'm gonna blow all your shit up, you fucking gas. That's right, you can't stop the fucking beast master of all beastness. Get your monolith out of my fucking face, bitch. This is not really monolith so much, but there's something. They're in my way. More life, yes, buddy. I'll take it. I'll blow up all the things. Better multiplier equals all the things. Oh, more health. Oh my god, we must be going to a boss. A true boss. Ooh, under the moonlight sky. Here we go. Check out that reflection. This water is mesmerizing. It's mesmerizing. Which moon is real? Which moon is real? Oh shit. Flashbacks to N64 days. No. Well, Lisa, that's up to you. Only you can decide how to use the power inside you. Exactly. Look into your heart and use that power for what is right. But don't let anyone else decide what's right or wrong for you. Use it for what you believe in, good sir. Someday, you'll find a companion to help shoulder your burden. You won't have to be so alone. That's right, love. And don't forget, Daddy's not a monster. Okay? He's just a little bit different. Daddy's just Daddy. Daddy's just Daddy. That's what they all say. Daddy's just Daddy. What do you see in its ripples? The forest reveals the present. Why do you pass by its trees? Oh shit. The sky presents the future. Its darkness foretells your death. I like this chick's style. Let us out of this nightmare. Oh, child, don't you see? This is a world of your own creating. Your heart is responsible for what you see. Whatever, freak. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what is she? Ariana Shami. She's like a shaman bitch, okay? She's throwing. Oh my god, she throws phoenix birds at you. That's fucking cool. Probably should have killed those Phoenix birds somehow. If I can. Honestly, I don't know if I can. I won't worry about killing anything. Oh my god, kill those though. Flower petals. Flower petals. Ow. This bitch is pretty cool, I gotta say. I know she's my enemy right now, but she's pretty cool, I gotta say. Kind of a pretty cool beezy. Can't deny. Man, listen to that angry scream she's got. It's like super angry. It's like, what do you have to be so angry about for beezy? Like, did you have some some problem in what the hell did I just pick up, by the way? Did I just get like a power up to slow her down or slow down the world? That's new. Were those available to me this whole time and I never picked one up? What the hell? How did I go through the whole game and not pick up like another kind of power up? Maybe they're only during this sequence. I don't know. Oh, they are. Look at these. Oh, I get it. Never mind. They are. They're, this is a boss fight based thing. It was one of her birds turned into a power up. I get it. Okay. I need to be careful that when I give her the speed up one, she goes crazy. 
I need to try and get her when she comes up close to hit me. That, that's probably the most damage I can do is when I actually chop her physically. That's usually the best damage I can do. And it seems to me the best thing to grab is that blue one if you can. Yeah, I'm gonna die. First attempt is a fail, but then again, what else do you expect from, from me? Perfect gameplay? Ha! Go find somebody else. No. Oh my god. Ow. Well, I got her to a point where she did something different, so now at least I am aware of things that change. I was kind of getting better at dodging some of that stuff after a little bit there. So, let's try again. I hope this is the final boss of this chapter, because then we won't have as long of an episode on our hands. I mean, it doesn't really matter how long the episodes are, really. Oh shit, I forgot about dodging the fire that they blow up into, genius. Don't let her fucking come up at you, come at you, bro. Don't let her come at you, bro. If you let her come at you, bro, she'll do all the damages. Oh my god, I ran right into the fire again. Such anger. I'll slow your ass down. Now what? Now what, bitch? Get slowed. Get slow. Get slow. Get slow. Get slow. Get absolutely slowed. Rawr! Anger, man. That angry, like, Amazonist yell is just there's something about it that I find kind of sexy. Gotta say. There we go. Slow that bitch down and chop her down. Yeah, bitch. Underwater you go, bitch. Where you belong, bitch. Underwater, bitch. Where you belong, bitch. Go ahead and angry scream at me. You deserve everything. Basically, she dodges like everything we do that's worth doing damage. Your best bet is just unloading your fa in her face with regular shots. Actually, that worked quite well. When she's in slow motion, that's your best time to do anything. All right, fair enough. We're gonna get her, but um, because this didn't seem very hard, now that I understand how to fight it, I feel like there's another form or another thing that's gonna come out. Just like with the fucking bitch we fought in the last chapter. Yeah, see, the fact that we got a health pack thing means there's going to be more to this. There's going to be another phase to this. There's always another fucking phase, man. Either she turns into something or summons something. Oh, shit. She turns into something. Okay. Hello, Ariana Shami Part 2. I don't appreciate your change of pace. Don't clap me, you bitch. Yeah, your, her lack of HP is what concerned me a minute ago, but now I see we were just mistaken. Oh my god, her abilities are something I'm trying to get used to here. Dude, I keep dodging the wrong way. Fuck off, bitch. We can use that. We can use that more often. BT dubs. Alright, next time, next round, because I'm definitely going to lose this round, it's, it's pretty much inevitable at this point. What, what is she, what is she sending our way? She's throwing stalactites at us. Stop it. Stop it. Don't like when you throw stalactites at me. It hurts my feelings, okay? Okay. Do we, oh, do we seriously have to start from the beginning of this battle? We do. Oh, this is pain. This is pain. So I gotta get better at dodging all her moves. That's what I gotta do. And try to not get hit by her, by the way. Haha, <laughs> I hit her. Nice. Fuck off, bitch. Gotta just do what I can. Try to take as little amount of damage as I can. That way I can reload up on health after the battle when we go to the next form. Because actually, this form is not hard at all, especially when I put her in slow motion. Bitch! Utilize that more often for shizzle. For schnitzel.
<laughs> I like how her angry scream turns into the ow scream immediately. Fuck off, bitch. Yeah. Don't get too close. I'll fuck you up. She didn't even get to do this last time. She, like, went ape shit. I didn't even give her a chance to do this. Yeah. Fuck you. Die, you bitch. Die, you bitch. Die. Thank you. Jesus. Okay. Full health. All right. It's round two. Here we come. Can we skip this? There's a way to skip it, though, right? Can we have to watch this? You should let me skip it, right? Let me skip it. I guess it doesn't take that long. Fine. Your blood is on fire. Well, there's water right under you if you want to use it for anything useful. Fuck off, bitch. I'm going to use that as soon as I possibly can every time. Damn. That clap attack, man. She's so happy and she knows it. Ow. I don't like this stalactite bullshit. I just gotta dodge it better. Oh my god, I didn't realize she was gonna start attacking me. Wait, the battle continues even when the stalactite shit is happening? Oh, that's not cool. Great. Like, dodging her wasn't enough. Now we gotta worry about stalactites and shit. Wow, we're fighting her. Wow. This got out of hand real fast. Oh my god, and then I didn't even... Oh. Dude. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. How do I even, you know? I guess I could try to chop her. I haven't been trying that. I haven't really been trying that much. And I could chop these slag ties, which for some reason didn't occur to me till just now. All right, we're probably gonna have to do one more round of this. Yeah, after I go, I'm dead. Um, I think I'll fast forward to that part of the battle. That way you don't have to watch me fight the first form over and over again. Because I don't know how many more attempts this is going to take me. I just want to beat her. Got her! Yes! Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Yes! God, that took me way too many tries. My hands are dying. Thank God my recording sesh for today is over. Yes! Wow! 
That fucking giant rock throwing part is ridiculous. I just started dodging like crazy and it worked. Thank you, Jesus. So we gotta watch this cutscene and the beginning of the next chapter's cutscene before we quit. That way we don't miss out on a cutscene. And then we can end the episode. <sighs> Good lord. No past? Yeah, because in a minute or even a second, it's already the past. That's how it works. Oh, good lord. That was actually a fucking intense boss battle. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed that, even though I fucking got pissed off. But you know what? Victorious! V for victory! So let's go ahead and see what the cutscene is. So when I quit, we can start where we left off. Come on. Now we're in the desert. What the fuck? This is not Mount Fuji. Where the hell are we now? It's infested with enemies. But it's the only road to Mount Fuji. On the way to Mount Fuji, I see. You couldn't have teleported us somewhere a little cooler? Like where? Don't what the fuck? Baby. This guy looks pretty comfortable. This little what the fuck is that thing? It's a goddamn hey, dinosaur. Where's my alien donkey? Alien donkey is what we call it. All right. Okay, you don't need an alien donkey. You have a jetpack. I guess that's All right, run. fine. S sand uh All this for two What's it kids, called? I tell you. Huh? Sandmobile, I guess you would call it cuz it's like a snowmobile. Wow, what a terrible you Do you not know how to turn your head, bro? Done. Isa owned him. Thanks for the ride, brah. Sand Cruiser be damned. It's like a pod racer from the fucking Star Wars Episode 1 and shit. Alright. Oh my god. This this, oh, this level's gonna be awesome. See you guys next time. Peace.